knowing the origin of the band, how it started in my mom's garage, and I can like, still see it very vividly, like you know, the rakes hanging there and my broken dirt bike and stuff, and just thinking that we've come to this level now, you know, we're selling records, like these, all these charts, magazines, I used to read Billboard and Hits and things like that. Seeing our name in there is just like, it's like surreal. It's like we're the Make-A-Wish Foundation band, you know what I mean? And we're just, we're very lucky. I mean, we're gonna be on the cover of Rolling Stone. We love the hip hop soundscape, you know, the, 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 the environment that it creates and sort of the sounds you can get from drum loops and things like that. So we tried to create that with rock music as opposed to the yo, 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 you know what I'm saying stuff. So I thought that was very accurate because a lot of times we've sort of been pretty fly for a white guy type of band. You know, people think we're trying to like represent something. Also, I really, 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 when, especially when I'm on the bus traveling, really admire Willie Nelson, you know. I'm looking out the, the windows and you just put on Willie Nelson, it's like, you know, it's the soundtrack for life, you know. So uh, that would be great ever to collaborate with him because we love to collaborate, but he probably wouldn't do it.